Hello everyone, welcome back to Smart City Channel. This is James. I believe my colleague has introduced the EP401 product not long ago. I believe you have a basic understanding of it. Today, we will explore the use and operation product, a charging and discharging machine. Okay, let's get started. Okay, firstly, now we connecting the couple. Okay, next that we need to metameter to identify the positive and negative of the terminal of battery model. Okay, so this side is positive and this side is negative. Now the red couple to connect to the positive. Okay, now we connect the 485 communication couple. Now we connect to this cup, this side to a quick acquisition boss. Okay, next step, uh, according to the marking on the clip couple, we connect the B1 minus from negative to positive. Okay, now the connecting wiring is finished. After a wiring is complete, we will turn on the AC switch and turn on the device. Okay, firstly, we perform this chart test. And before the testing, we need to set the my parameters. And for, for the pack module, normally the first module from the negative side of the battery pack is considered module 1. And for this testing, we will set the three number. And next, for the nominal capacity, for this, this uh, battery module, we will set the 17 5. And also, for battery tap, we select the third battery module tap. And for the number of battery cell, uh, we set 10. For this testing, we set 10. And next parameters for the, for the drop out voltage of cells. Mm, a different within 15, uh, 15 is normal for tenably within is within 200 voltage. And for this, we will set 200. For the discharge coolant, typically the standard discharge coolant is set to half of the nominal capacity. So we will set 13745. For the low limit of pack terminal, this is the lower limit for a single string multiplied by the number of cell strings. For example, for terminally lifting is 3.2 voltage. So you will set 13 to voltage. And for the, the last two parameters we will ignore. Just just turn, turn off the button. Okay after next don't forget to save. Okay after the setting parameter we, we will turn on the DC switch and then we will click the start test and get start the testing click OK so the test processing is finished you can see the test column is become yellow column. And 
also you can see the report from data top. Okay, next we will perform the charging test. And the five five parameter we here are the sun as discharge. And for the pack terminal charge voltage limit, we will set 137 because we have 10 battery cell for the pack terminal charge voltage limit. This is 3.7 voltage multiplied by the number of strings and because we have 10 battery cell so we will set 137 for the pack terminal charge protection this setting is for the machine's protection and is usually set the same as the group and changing voltage just make sure it's no lower than the, that value so we will set 13.72 and for the charge column limit set this to half of the nominal capacity as a standard for the next parameter the column threshold typically set to yellow point yellow two times of the nominal capacity and for the charge type we will ignore just just turn off the button so the parameters is setting finish just save that the charge test process ends and you also can enter the data dump to see the report all right that wraps up all the operation if you want to know more about product reviews please continue follow me Thank you so much.